Microsoft is one of the best in the biz at creating new certification exams and keeping their certification exam content fresh, but they're very secret about when they roll out beta exams. And one of the ones that I noticed recently that they've rolled out is the Power Platform Certification Exam Beta. In this video, we're gonna explore what it's all about. I believe that the Power Platform gets its name from a few key areas that we're gonna talk about in this video. But first, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you'd like to learn more about the IT career field, your options, and grow your own skills, click that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified whenever new videos come available. All right, the Power Platform. Who is the Power Platform really for? What is this new certification exam all about? Power Platform to me is for power users. You all know the power user in your organization, that person who has a proclivity for technology and they like to dig into the real details and how they can leverage tools for their own usage. And really what I like to think of this is, is people who go just beyond your typical Microsoft Office suite. They want to do a little bit more. They want to build their own solutions, their own programs, their own analytics and dashboarding tools. The people who took Excel and moved into Power Pivot, those type of people. The Power Platform offers a few different tools that we'll explore when we go over the certification exam breakdown. But what I want to stress right now is that if you're a systems administrator or an app developer, a network engineer, the Power Platform is not beneath you. If you've heard me talk about Azure Logic Apps and how obsessed with Azure Logic Apps I am, they took that core functionality of Azure Logic Apps and converted it into the Power Automate tool. So now most people with an Office 365 subscription can automate their own workflows with Power Automate. CBT Nuggets actually has training on Power Automate. It was called Microsoft Flow. So if you search for Microsoft Flow, you'll find Simona's training on it, and it's a phenomenal way to get started. If you're looking for the more app development side of things, you can check out the Azure Logic Apps. I even have a demo YouTube video called The Easiest API You Will Ever Develop. Check that out in the little description below. So certification in the Power Platform is really saying we understand tools like Power BI, yeah, Power Apps, Power Automate, and how we can build amazingly beautiful, robust solutions like building apps that can collect and change data, and how we can build analytic solutions with Power BI and automate sort of workflows and data moving and all sorts of stuff with Power Automate. Now, this exam, the PL900, when you see 900 in an exam code in Microsoft, that typically means it's an introductory exam. That means it's a fundamentals exam. They want to introduce you to the platform itself. What are the different offerings? What are the core functionalities? A little bit of how to, we're not digging too deep into it. So at this point, let's bring up the exam blueprint and we'll take a look at what it's all about. So if I just search for PL900, we see we've got the exam PL900, very first thing that comes up, the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals Beta Exam. Let's scroll down a hair until we get to skills measured and click download exam skills outline. Well, here it is. The exam is broken down into five key sections. We're gonna cover those five key sections starting with this one and this is just understanding why the power platform matters and really what this is going to say at the end of the day is we have tools that can empower your end users not just systems administrators and developers who should also consider using the power platform but really your common everyday user can use tools like microsoft flow which is now called power automate Power Apps, Power BI, even the common data services, which is a very cool feature in Power BI and Power Apps. So if I scroll down a hair, let's talk about what these types of power platforms and solutions are built on. Dynamics 365, which is a CRM. Microsoft 365, a centralized way that we can manage Windows environments as well as our Office products. Of course, Azure, and then how we can extend those into other apps and services. That's really where I think Power Platform comes into play. Let's scroll down here and talk about Power Platform. So when we scroll down and look at the Power Platform, we need to understand the core components of the Power Platform. We're moving beyond what's just the value of Power Platform and what it brings to your business. What are the actual tools that we use in the Power Platform? Common data services are a simple way of modeling data, basically saying we can move data into what is a common understood way of organizing and structuring our data. Connectors are how we connect to other integrated platforms and systems. These are those third-party things. This may be 
understanding what a trigger is and how we can act upon that trigger. For instance, if something happens in Outlook, trigger an action in OneDrive, and then follow that up by sending a tweet, something as simple like that. That connects all of those services together. Again, that's where Power Automate comes into play. They even have a little bit of AI in here, which is, I think, pretty cool. Power BI has AI built into it. All you have to do is double click on the screen and literally type a question and it will answer it for you in its data. Speaking of that Power BI, you know I feel very strongly about Power BI. I've demoed it here on the YouTube channel and I even have a course for the 70-778 Power BI certification exam on CBT Nuggets. Power BI is an amazing tool for people to understand data in a visualized way. When we just look at raw data like Excel sheets, it's not very easy to consume and understand, predict trends, or find outliers. That's where Power BI comes into play. We can now connect to data, summarize it, ingest it, transform it, and visualize it all in one tool. It is a full business intelligence product. If you're coming from the BI world, you may understand things like ETL and what SSIS does. Power BI handles literally all of that for you, and it's hosted whoop, right in the Power BI service, which is really built on Azure. So outside of understanding what the core components of Power BI is, it'll show you how to connect to data and consume data, and then build a basic visualization and dashboard, which I think is really cool. Beyond that, you'll want to check out Power Apps. This is an actual application that you can build for your organization. So if Power BI connects to data and summarizes it and visualizes it, Power Apps is what we can use to collect data or change data. We may deploy this app to an end user and they can update their own contact info in the database. So this exam will walk you through the basics of what Power Apps does and even how to build a basic Canvas app. Again, they've made Power Apps so that the end user can build their own application. They don't need to know very much code at all. Maybe just a few querying items here and there. But the idea is that they can use a GUI to drag and drop and build their forms that they want themselves. Lastly, Microsoft Flow, which is now known as Power Automate. Again, we have training on that in CBT Nuggets, which I think is cool. This may be my favorite tool in the entire Microsoft suite. Microsoft Flow and Azure Logic Apps are almost effectively the same thing. It's just geared for two different types of people. One is the end user. The other one is a centralized administrator of Azure. But the idea is the same. If something happens in one app, trigger a series of actions in other apps. This could be writing data to a database. This could be ingesting JSON data and making decisions on it. This could even be kicking off approval processes through emails. It's building a workflow of things to happen when a specific action occurs, and I think it's really amazing. So the PL900, I think this is going to be a really popular exam, and I think discovering and understanding the Power Platform is definitely worth your time, because these are tools that are sometimes included in your Office 365 subscription, like Power Automate. Power BI even has a free version. You should want to check that out too if you want to connect and analyze data. These tools have the ability to transform your end users' workflows and your ability to empower your end users. Democratize these tools in your organization and watch people become even more productive. So check out the PL900 exam. All right, thanks for stopping by, y'all. We'll see you in the next one.